live, baby. Pretty much experts. I am Robert John mm-hmm. Patterson in Montenegro. Sunny, actually super fucking windy today in Montenegro. Oh. Uh, my last week in Montenegro. This is my brother Mike. Hi there. And my other brother Skylar. Greetings and salutations. No uh, bonjour <laughs> this week? No, not no, this no. week. No, um, this isn't a weekly fucking French lesson. <laughs> I thought you were going to go like Italian or something yeah. this week. Bonjour. Ciao. Bonjour. Yeah. No. Bonjour. 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 Ciao. Arrivederci. Yeah. Greetings. Greetings. Welcome uh, back. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about time travel this week. This was uh, <laughs> Skylar's fucking suggestion. This was not Skylar's suggestion. This I'm was pretty Mike's sure it was. Suggestion. was it, whose suggestion? No, 100%. I regret it. <laughs> it, was Mike's, it was totally Mike's idea. I instantly was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, until you start looking into it for five minutes. Oh, I was man. pretty into it. Yeah. You got into it? Well, I was into the, like... Uh, I didn't. I tried to get you know? into it, but it was like... Yeah. What? What didn't you like about it? Oh, you froze there for a second. Um, <laughs> I thought you. Yeah, I, it was like it was like when you started to like find people's like look into people's opinions about it, and it was the hoaxy shit was like way too hoaxy. Like it was just not believable. There's all these like videos of people on YouTube that like I am a time travel right. traveler, and here's the proof: some stupid photo or some bullshit. Andrew Carlson. Yes, and then when you started to look into the science side of things, it was just boring yeah like yeah, so was, boring i lean like more in theory of relativity and all that crap and it's like it's interesting stuff like i learned a little bit looking into time travel this week but man did, it was just so mundane like it, yeah. shoot me now that's i kept saying to myself shoot me why did i say this i leaned heavy yeah, I, into the sciencey nonsense and i hate science i think anyone that studies science is wasting their life <laughs> yeah, but like I wanted time. to understand okay. like Once you always again. hear the theory of relativity and Einstein e equals mc square and you're just like yeah that's sure. a thing yeah. and you just shrug your shoulders and don't pay any mind to it so I like really tried to understand what that meant and I still mm-hmm. don't really understand it but it basically says that the faster you move the slower time is for you like that's yeah like the closer you get to the speed of light the slower, the slower time, time is for you yeah or if you go yeah. past the speed of light which nothing ever has if you no. can time will go backwards but he would you like can't in go the speed like of if light. you go the speed that of light of <laughs> you can't go the speed yeah, of light can. it would take like an no, infinite no. amount of energy but like mm-hmm. if you went the speed of light it would be like planet of the apes style like you you travel for six months at the speed of light you come back to Earth, and that equals like 400 Earth years. But yeah. if you break mm-hmm. that down to like a micro movement, like if you're in a fighter jet traveling, yeah. you're aging like point billion percent slower than everyone else. Nanoseconds. Not yeah. moving at the speed of a fighter jet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's pretty friggin' interesting. So right away, oh, yeah, like, say, time travel like they is even real. say like being up on a mountaintop yeah. would change. Yeah, the further away time from space. gravity, I know this mm-hmm. is RJ's like nemesis. Yeah, gravity. Is gravity. Yeah. Well, you but, must like, have had further... to get over that this week. So it's like even right like astronauts. Like the thing that I was reading about was like how uh, astronauts are technically time travelers because they are yeah. in outside of our fixed gravitational pull that they Mm. age slower than Mm. people on earth Mm -hmm. and that clocks on the space station and on satellites are yeah have to constantly Constantly be calibrated because they lose like 300 milliseconds a day or something stupid like that yeah. And so, like, for real-time GPS, like, I want to get to Max Milk. Like, how do I get there? It's going <laughs> to – has to calibrate all that shit for you kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff is all pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so, and like – to a point, for the first five like, minutes, it's cool. And, like, going the speed of light, like, one of the things I read that was cool was how it's, like, it's impossible for us to go the speed of light because imagine if you were on a motorcycle that was going – 
the speed of light and mm -hmm. you put a a light on the end of that motorcycle and turned it on mm -hmm. yeah. like you it'd be you projecting can't. in front of you yeah sp light the speed of light never changes like even if it's on a moving object or if it's like a, me holding a flashlight Stationary. or if it's a car yeah, yeah. driving it always is like mm -hmm. 600 and 70 million something you know what i mean like <laughs> whatever yeah, miles yeah. per second kind of something stupid so like yeah the idea that like that's why everything i kept reading was like if you could go 99.9 .9, this like the speed mm -hmm. of light like it would take this long right and uh it's i don't know i think i tried to do the science thing i fell asleep at one point during <laughs> of one show i watched of course you did it was and then I got like all got all quantum realm on it. Like I watched one of those. Hmm. That was weird as fuck too. You just watched sliders. But also, well, no, it was cool. <laughs> the thing I watched that even talked of, like about how with like quantum physics is all about like what you can do on a molecular level. You can do mm -hmm. in our expanded. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. if you can, basically, they were talking about how inside of an atom there's like empty space but it's not actually empty space it's full of other things that are going on and mm. those particles are constantly disappearing and then reappearing smashing into one another blowing up doing like crazy mm -hmm. shit right and mm -hmm. so like in there somewhere it's like these particles are disappearing traveling around inside this atom coming back that it's like there's something there like if they can manipulate that to a grander scheme it. Yeah. right like yeah but it yeah seems i I, I i heard something about that too and i think like to jump the gun a little bit like there's that one account i think it was like the philadelphia project or something like that where they disappeared that ship that naval ship they disappeared that ship to yeah <laughs> did you look did you see that no. yeah i <laughs> no. guess like no one Nikola, did. Nikola no. Tesla and like Albert Einstein were affiliated with this project somehow, but they used generators and fancy calculations to um, calculations to, <laughs> calculation to, <laughs> to disappear <laughs> this like in like the forties. I want to say they disappeared this naval ship from. Philadelphia, maybe that's why it's called that, and it Is ended up in like the right word. There? Not at all to disappear. No, I don't know. Vanish, I don't know if it's maybe? even a word. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But they disappeared. <laughs> this. They su they suicided the ship, and then wow. they fucking it ended up in like Virginia for a split second or whatever. Like it showed up there, and then like at some undetermined I don't know amount of time later, it reappeared back in like the port or wherever the fuck they were. Where they disappeared it originally, what? and like all the all the crew was fucked up. They were like smashed into the side of the ship, dismembered. A bunch were like di had completely like didn't come back. Like they were missing of people. Not. Of course, not. I don't know. It, it's it's kind of hoaxy, but it's like a documented thing. At the same time, I don't know if it's like classified in Amer like American shit. Like if it's Folklore. classified information, but. Yeah. yeah, it could be part folklore, but it's like a thing that I don't know. People yeah. like to talk Edison about. Edison did some fucked up shit. Yeah, Edison yeah. did. Yeah, Tesla too. Yeah. Have you seen that video of him like uh, electrocuting the elephant? No. Totally. Yeah, yeah. It's brutal. Yeah. So like, really? actually, I, I first heard like about that war. on Bob's Burgers. Yeah. It was on Bob's Burgers, and like they're like had to do like a science fair project and she's like oh i'm gonna do the volcano and like a new science teacher was like all fucking gay for thomas edison and like was Who like no everyone's doing one on thomas edison and so she picked le the elephant the thing. elephant one and they like try and reenact it that's the first time i heard about it i looked into it a bit How, it's, it's brutal it's kind of strange yeah so i it's think brutal, like yeah. tesla was like alternating currents the way to go in wiring you know the world and Edison was like, no, direct current is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe it was flipped, whatever. But Edison yeah, wanted yeah. to show that, like, oh, Tesla's is dangerous. Like, just look what happens to this elephant if it's exposed to alternating current. 
And they oh, just wow. like yeah. live TV, just like electric chair to a full grown, like 900 pound elephant, like cooked it. That was direct current. Yeah. Edison yeah. was direct current. So Tesla I had it was AC. Yeah. He was like yeah. trying to prove that the other one was like dangerous. And mm-hmm. they like walk this elephant onto this big metal platform and just cook it in front of a huge audience. Yeah. Not uh-huh. really. It's That's not. Fun. It's fucked. And they just cook it. Oh, like he just remember. like, I... you see the elephant like, Whoa! <laughs> and like fall and just shake and then burst into flames and like it's yeah. brutal wow. it's out there somewhere but then you like to find that. science like <laughs> comes through and it's like tesla was right as far as how to do it like but wi-fi because, is like tesla's invention but because like edison was radio. the like american <laughs> and the bigger name and all that like they adopted mm-hmm. the edison model and it didn't really work very well yeah and that's why mm-hmm. there's like AC DC, like everything's kind of compatible. Converters. Even though like yeah. DC is the like yeah. one that works. Everything well, DC just... is dangerous because it's steady, and AC okay, I have a, is I have a backwards, still dangerous, like but less friggin... dangerous because it's it goes positive to negative and has to pass yeah. zero, so it's like a pulse. Right. So I guess Ooh. if you get electrocuted by AC voltage, you, there's a chance that you'll get thrown back, right. or or that you'll be able to like if it's not. Let go. High current or whatever. Right, be able right. to let go. Yeah, where D, where DC's direct and it's like at let's say positive, blah blah blah, and there's no pulse in it, so you just you just fry. You're frozen like that elephant. Like the like poor fucking elephant. elephant. Yeah. yeah. But the then like elephant. it's so funny the way that everything is just AC DC now, but they mm. don't just like you know go out and say like yeah we don't use direct current anymore. Edison was wrong. Like we yeah. just like mm. we use both. <laughs> we use like, both, but yeah. mostly AC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's uses well, for both for sure. Even like I like my whole understanding of it was like, you know, Edison did his like, condescent lamp with the filaments and stuff that lit it up. Yeah. Where mm. Tesla was more like, if you just create like an energy field, I can hold this. Like those magic tricks you see people do where they just hold up like yeah. illuminating bulbs and they illuminate is because yeah, they're totally. just in an electric field. Right. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's a magic. Conductor. but it, Right? And mm-hmm. it's one of the things I watched was that the guy that like created, like Tesla got credited for creating the AM radio because of mm. his research that was like, there are these waves that if you could create like a dome of electricity, like you can send a frequency through it Mm -hmm. and so when the guy whoever it was that finally like discovered it and put it into practical use there was like a big uh patent debate over Mm -hmm. it because Mm -hmm. it was tesla's technology and he actually won i think he might have already been dead at the time but it Mm -hmm. was like no this is totally a tesla thing like you wouldn't have found this without his prior information right right? Mm -hmm. so and it's all about like there's something there when there's nothing there kind of like the inside of an atom oh <laughs> well, also... back to to what we were talking <laughs> about moving at at fast speeds like they that's that they call it time dilation and they use wow. like the bouncing ball theory like if yeah. you were to observe when somebody you sing bouncing along a ball... to your favorite song <laughs> no that's karaoke <laughs> bud <laughs> sorry that's just karaoke yeah not not as scientific but i guess like that uh just to throw it back like that that whole time dilation bouncing ball yeah. if you move fast time goes slow type of thing i don't know like yeah it was it was interesting for five minutes honestly and then yeah. it was just like what yeah. the fuck it's is like going if on? you're in a car and you like underhand someone a softball from front seat to back seat it goes slow but if mm-hmm. you're standing on the side of the road Relative. and you watch that car go by and someone throw the ball to each other and you like radar it, it's like that yeah. throw was 200 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all <laughs> relative. You in the car, right? it's like yeah, yeah relatively yeah. like no, that was just a, a, a girlish yeah. underhand. There's like that. I can't remember <laughs> like 
the way Einstein <laughs> Einstein described it, where it was like the person waiting. I believe for the train. I believe it's yeah. Einstein. 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 Every I time I Einstein. read that Einstein version of standing at a train reading the clock, I had no fucking clue what he was talking about. It took me like all week to finally understand, and what got me was like the kids' version. Like I watched a video of like the kids' version of the theory of relativity, the and it was like clues oh, version. the Blues yeah. Clues version, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Big so Bird had to it? tell Let's, me, and now I fucking yeah, got it. Please explain it. I still don't understand yeah. Einstein's version. Dude, so, I don't fucking get it. He was like watching a train he got as it. like a train left a station well, and realized that it was like further away than if he was standing closer. I have no idea. I don't it's get it. It's based Wasn't it on. About it's based on, on the, if you're. It's based on, on if platform? you're observing from. Yeah, it's like based on if yeah. you're observing from a standstill or if you're in that train. Yeah. It has to do with the like your velocity and relative to time. Dude, yeah. I really don't fucking know. Yeah, fuck Einstein. <laughs> like I yeah. Einstein. Yeah. Fucking Einstein. Einstein and or like did we did we discover that gravity is a real thing in our travels, RJ? No, I still don't believe in gravity. Docs about it. No. About the I think the gravity word the gravity word is a thing, yes. There's yeah. something yeah, the word that exists. holds us to Earth. <laughs> Mass. Yeah. But the idea that uh, it's like uh, every everything that has weight is pulled down at an equal force. No, it's not equal. It's I subjected so by the amount of weight that the amount of like, weight. So it's like yeah. if you stretched out a blanket super tight and then put yeah. like a ball in the middle of it. The fabric is space time, okay. and the ball is the planet, right? So space time mm-hmm. is flat, and now you introduce the ball to the space time, and it'll create a bulge. And depending yeah. on how big your bulge yeah, is, that's how much uh. gravity, how much, uh, how much push you get, uh. how much pull yeah. you get, right? Yeah. Um, how so come the moon? If gravity had a noise, eventually, gravi- just get gravity all had the way a noise, it would be. That's what. What? How come the moon doesn't eventually come close enough to Earth? I think it will. I th- that's like the other thing that is, in? is it's very it's gravity's very much like in. a uh, like a roulette wheel is kind of what I found that like that sounds made once up that as hell. once that ball <laughs> once that ball creates its bulge and it creates gravity, <laughs> other things get sucked into that gravity and will get like sucked in like a roulette wheel. And yeah. eventually, like, they, they will come in, but it, like, just the, you know, Will it be like it a takes. roulette wheel that for, you know, the first 30 seconds, the white ball stays on the outside, and then once it starts to lean in, it's, like, over real quick? Could as be. far as the moon is Maybe. concerned? Very well could be. Could be. But, like, could our be. idea of gravity is just the bend in space time. I think what which... throws me off is mm. when I was in, like, school the analogy for gravity was always centrifugal for force like if something's spinning mm-hmm. things stick to it yeah and that's yeah. bullshit it's not centrifugal it force. Is, yeah it's not science i mean it is science but it's like <laughs> that's, that's not the what beautiful gravity thing is, with though. science is constantly changing right yeah, like I'm down the theory with that. of that's relativity where, didn't exactly, exist we're on the until same page. 1910 I believe, I believe that we're right? being held to the earth like i'm not denying that i'm not a flat earther no I just feel like what I was taught doesn't add up anymore, and I'm not up on the recent science. Okay. Like the early yeah. 90s like, version in, of like, yeah. if you fill a bucket with water and spin it over your head, the water doesn't fall out. That's gravity. See, I think mm-hmm. that was just our dad, though. I don't think that's gravity. It might have been our dad. I definitely remember I think, seeing I remember that doing that at the cottage. In our back cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that the, you know, but like, the theory of relativity, and even like, one of the things I thought was cool was like, his theory of like Einstein's theory of relativity. Why are we like, calling him Einstein? Was all based Is that on like a thing that we like a Mandela expansion of the universe from the Big Bang theory. Yeah, but he realized that there was something wrong with his theory because hmm. there was still something that's keeping us together. As much as things are separating, mm. there's other yeah. forces at work that are keeping the something together, and so his theory of relativity like he thought it all out and it was perfect and then he had to revise it which was, i believe he called it the cos the cosmetic constant i believe was this and other little time. side equation that he made up the to configure oh. for the the 
uh not the expansion but the retraction of other objects in the universe Mm -hmm. and he considered that to be his biggest blunder because like 50 years later it was decided that the cosmetic constant they didn't need it like if we're expanding it's like it's a flawed thing it works Mm -hmm. in relativity just like time travel works but it's not real but now here we are another like 50 years later and Mm -hmm it's starting to come out that his Einstein's biggest blunder may actually be one of his biggest discoveries in like dark matter Mm. that Mm. the outer space is more like the ocean where you're in it and there's something there's a pressure to it it's like our atmosphere that like there was no atmosphere on earth we would fucking expand and goes to nothing right yeah Mm. but so the dark I'm not matter totally might crazy. actually you're not totally crazy gravity but, eh. is blurry Stubborn. but i think i've always felt like it was like a push from space down not a pull yeah. to the center yeah hmm. and like even it's like i said like, the the one reference kind of like I being got. in the bottom of the ocean it's like the weight of the exactly. water exactly it's the ocean that's yeah I just said that. <laughs> but that's what i'm but saying yeah, like you guys fish. think i'm crazy yeah. i've always kind of felt no, like well, you it's just, just said the there was no spaces. such thing as gravity <laughs> Well, that That's word, like I just meant what that word represented, like, like to fucking Newton and his apple falling on him. And, it must, must go up, must come down. Dur, dur, dur. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I but just like, felt to like me, the... it seems more like it's a, it's a pressure. Yeah, that's what like I it's think. a, mm-hmm. you know, the fish doesn't isn't it's aware. It's easier to of the wrap water. your head around. That's for sure. That makes more sense. Right? To me. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going out and then back to the atom. It's like it's not that there's there's there isn't nothing in the middle of that atom. There's something there. We just the can't galaxy. measure it or quantify it. And, you know, mm-hmm. we've only recently discovered gravitational waves from other supernovas blowing up, right? Like it's, it's crazy. Again, mm-hmm. like the fabric of time, like like a fabric, like it ripples, right? Yeah. And yeah, to get into one part of time travel, the wormholes. This is the only one that I fully understood, and I get it from fucking like interstellar movies and other like <laughs> stupid event horizon had the best yeah, yeah. like ever is that fold the paper if it's a fabric yeah you should be able to fold it and in order not so much time travel but to shorten the distances between galaxies and solar systems if you can yeah. take that fabric fold it on itself punch a hole through it yeah and you're on part a you can go through that hole of the fabric and then unfold it and be where right and yeah yeah yeah. that's a part of i guess that's considered time travel because you'd still be needing like rj said like what to you doing the speed of light for five Mm -hmm. minutes for you is actually 10 years on earth yeah totally kind of thing right and so i mean so if like time travel in theory is possible but most of the time travel we hear about is going back in time and to That's... accommodate that you'd need to go faster than the speed of light based on the science so yeah. like time travel to the future seems very possible and very likely well it's, and it's might have real happened. it, it does it's happen it's, it's, it's real it's, even yeah. if it's nanoseconds yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like time travel to the future is real it is possible like the science is there even though it's boring as shit, you can look into it. It's fucking there, right? Like you could yeah. go potentially a day into the future if you move fast enough. Like yeah. rel- like you would only feel like you were going that fast for 15 seconds, but the rest of the, you know, everything outside of your bubble would advance at the same speed yeah. as it as it would relative to whatever yeah. itself and to There's you. Been a... So like time travel to the future is possible. Yeah. It is a thing. It's proven. Yeah. How do you explain time travel to the past? Is it all bullshit? I think it's all bullshit. Yes. It is bullshit. That's what I got from it. Yeah. It seems yeah. all fucking bullshit. Like, the one thing that I saw that was interesting was, like, there's a theory about how you can't go back past the point of inventing time travel. Mm. Because oh, it be hooped. You, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. you need a trap door uh, I, basically to go back to n- a restart. Yeah, but so like that's that would forever be the furthest point you could go back 
Like a game oh. save in, a, in Red Dead Redemption. Exactly, right? And then you can go on and chain... And do, but still then, like from that point on, you can go on for like 100 years with your time travel. And in 100 years, you could come back to that point uh, today where we invented okay. time travel. Right. Now, I don't know, like, it just to me... Because it kind of comes back to like the weird thing of like, why hasn't... If time travel is possible, why have we not encountered anybody with a yeah. credible time travel no. story that's come back well, yeah, and been, like... But as far as it being credible is like the is the question because people claim to be time travelers you know yeah and there's all these people that have quote unquote proof that there have been people that have traveled back in time based on you and i'm sure you've both seen this oh, i'm yeah. sure a lot of other people has it. yeah with like the people in the videos on their cell phones and the one guy that's at that bridge reopening in british columbia yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's like yeah. he looks like he's from the future. He's wearing fucking welding goggles and a hockey sweater. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he yeah. looks like he's from the 40s. Like I don't see the resemblance to modern day just because he's slightly out of place compared to the people in their suits and hats. I think and... when you, I see those photos like right away, I'm like, damn, you know, that chick's on a damn. cell phone. But then yeah. it's like everyone else in that photo is not at all concerned that this chick's on a they cell phone. They weren't affected by it. So uh, no. it's clearly not a cell phone. Like it has to be she's just holding yeah. a radio or tape recorder. A That's tape awesome. recorder of Anything. some sort. I've seen I don't like, know if they different existed, reports but... of like Old... hearing aids and stuff were gigantic back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, the horn. Why'd you say it's not a? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like one of those, yeah. right? <laughs> and yeah. same with the dude on the that... bridge. It's just like, yeah, that guy's dressed really weird. But, like, no Ish. one to either side of him is like, hey, how come this guy's, Yeah. you know, they're still, like, stoked it's, at some yeah. random-ass bridge opening, not this guy in a T-shirt and a hoodie. It's totally. like, okay, so it's either yeah. there was people that dressed like that, you know, he's totally. just, like, I an eccentric informally. guy that's just totally informal, just wearing, like, a mm -hmm. hockey jersey and this pair of welding glasses, and he's weird, and they're not, like, giving yep. him attention, or it's a Photoshop, or... And that's maybe the thing he when was you like maybe he was press. Well, when you, know? you find and things like, on like YouTube and the internet, it's just like there's no actual source. It's just like or context really, other yeah. than what's in that description. Yeah, I watched one video. It was really convincing with this guy that like apparently won a bunch of money with totally. stock trades and stuff, and then he, he claims disappears. he claims to be in that photo too. Yeah. Yeah. But he then claims it's to like, be in that photo with that fucking dude. But like, then you have to just think of like, is any of that, or is it just a guy that made a YouTube video and posted? Because you don't actually see the interrogation. Yeah. It's like all muted. It's just like a guy in an interrogation room and a narrator going over top of it saying yeah. like, yeah. oh, this guy made all these trades and he made a bunch of money and the FBI questioned him and he said he was a time traveler. And then yeah, yeah. someone <laughs> like posted bail and too. he disappeared and no one ever heard from him again. Yeah. End of video. Yeah, he's in the Philippines. Yeah. He's in the Philippines. And it's just you like, how I mean? about like, none of that fucking happened? And he was some just yeah. random, you know, interrogation he, he probably, video. He could have Martha Stewart of that shit and fucking had some insider trading. Too. That's I giving actually, the, video the video credit video... that any of it was real. Like, I'm thinking, like, that's someone true. just that found the interrogation video and put a narration over it. Yeah. Like, no, the video mm, I watched, guys, totally just said that that was actually a National Enquirer story mm -hmm. that oh, okay. it, what it, it the story it was andrew carlson was his name and he turned eight hundred dollars into three hundred million dollars on the stock totally. exchange through yeah, weird yeah. shady d not weird but like really like Just you like shouldn't specific. be voting like yeah, yeah. putting into that right high risk high risk high risk and it all depended on weird dumb loopholes and people getting mm -hmm. caught with drugs and stuff but either way it was actually, uh, it was like 2003, 2004 when the internet was just kind of really getting going. And mm -hmm. it was like uh, one of those tabloid fucking stories that yeah. Yahoo picked up and put on one of their new, like, even I think the, the section that they put it under on their website was like tabloid-esque. But yeah, it yeah, got yeah. picked up and ran with that people thought it was real. And this was Legit. in, again, like I say, like, 2004 2005 when it was like you know nobody fact checked anything no. people still don't fucking fact check anything i see stuff all the so. time people share like click hole and the onion and 
hard times mm-hmm. as like legitimate like no these are all satire <laughs> made up websites like how long is it ten, yeah yeah how long does yeah. it take for yeah. people to realize the onion is not real yeah no kidding yeah it's been but, 10 years and that's in 2018 they had their own tv show i could imagine in 2002 though. people were the same sense of humor just yeah. making shit up posting it on oh yeah then on you know whatever well, and yeah. Get a rise. yahoo picks it up like that totally makes sense yeah, and this is like the post, National Choir like has been making money for fifty years oh, doing that. Of course, yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. So Bat Boy, Bat Boy, of course. How old is Bat Boy? Right? <laughs> That's one of my earliest memories. Is Bat Boy in the grocery Bat store Boy. line, <laughs> like asking yeah. for a Snickers bar, being told no, and then you put your head down in shame and you just read like, Bat Boy lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, My oh, man used can to we have get that. this, and Mom's like, "No, like you're not getting." This. <laughs> Junk newspaper. Like, get, a job. Junk? It, get a job. Get a job. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buy your own Snickers. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh fuck. Yeah. But uh, I, I wish time travel was real. Did you guys look into any of the forwards weird, or backwards? Like, like you wish you could go back? Oh yeah. Why? Well, I, I yeah. mean, if you could go, the only reason to go forward. I think is because you could like a see where we are as a civilization, but yeah, yeah. B you could then totally then from that point go back. No, I guess best. you can't. I guess no. If you're just saying you can only go forward, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. You yeah, wouldn't be able to. You, I think we're yeah. gonna get. Ah, you yeah. wouldn't a little bit. You're deep, never coming home. A little bit mm-hmm. deep in this next section, but I wouldn't ever say <laughs> that I suffered from depression in life. But there's been different periods where I'm like, shit, like things aren't working out. And I've had the thought of like, imagine time travel was real and I could just jump ahead three months, like just get through this and not have to deal with, you know, these feelings. What happens when you jump ahead and you're fucking dead because you killed yourself? I'm just thinking of like, (laughs) if you could go into like cryo sleep or something and now it's November. And I didn't yeah, have yeah. to deal with whatever I was like not wanting to deal with, like just totally being a shitty. But person. But like life. But then but the like same way of like your going, existence ticks on. Your existence ticks on. No, so all, the, all that like shit gets a, resolved, or no? Futurama style. Like, let me just like go ahead two years, and then when I come out, yeah, whatever yeah. problems, like situations I'm in, like I've just avoided it, like a total shitty. Well, if your like, problems are herpes, person. like an ostrich, shit's gonna you just stuck you. your head in the ground. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any specific air. reasons. Yeah. Like I can't like think back to like, oh, this is a time I thought that. But there have been times when you're in a situation, yeah, yeah, gotcha. like living situation or whatever, that's just like, oh, this. It's sucks. super typical, or even yeah. just yeah. like, oh, if I could this go back in time blows. and relive that moment. Yeah. It's not even you know? that. Yeah. Like you need to be depressed. I can straight up tell you that, like a month and a half ago, yeah. I pre-ordered Spider-Man for the PS4, the video game, Regretted. and there was a part of me that was just <laughs> like, I wish I could just sleep for two and a half months. Yeah. <laughs> And wake up on September seventh. I think that's more of what I'm. I'm trying to think of like when did I think that? I think it was more like those kinds of like. I wish it was Christmas. Like, can I just wake up and it be Christmas right now? Yeah. Like if there was a pill I could take in October, and wake up and it's Christmas morning, and I just have to skip all that like, you know, first semester of sixth Mm -hmm. grade. Like I'm down. Like fuck all that. No (laughs) PA days in November. Yeah. But then, like, I had this idea for. I don't mean that. I mean never forget um for like a movie <laughs> idea and oh, the more no. that i like started to develop it and i thought like shut down. oh this is more of like uh <laughs> this is a, a like oh, a black safe. mirror where it's like yeah. mm-hmm. time travel only exists to your own memory where like you could mm. you know dial in and go back to prom night and just like, like that yeah. movie butterfly effect with ashton Kutcher. but you can't change anything like mm-hmm. you're just like a mm-hmm. passive like yeah yeah you know you're just like a second viewing Zero, yeah. but like mm-hmm. i don't know my memory has always been like horrible so I'd, maybe people are different but like i can't actually remember so. like a whole day ever like everything is I just like quick little snips Mm-hmm. you know so if i was like think so to go back and see to like sit back and watch like oh remember that day i did this yeah. and just watch the whole thing as like a movie like that would be pretty sweet 
Like, are you talking about sex? Like, it good could sex? be any. Yeah, sex. Good sex. It could like be like going to a sex? concert. It could yeah, be. Yeah, you just have that really good session. You're like, I'm going to go back. And just watch really? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. re watch yeah, it. Yeah. Or just like a day, like even, <laughs> you know, going to a movie, going to whatever. It could be any day. It, but like, if I were this to like technology time, that allowed you to do that, I'm like that'd be cool. Yeah. But then it would turn yeah, into yeah. this dystopia of people just like laying in bed all day watching their memories and not making any new ones. Like that'd be a cool movie. Likely. That sounds like the future, sounds or like that sounds matrix. like the present That's day. The future. Let's all Twitter about shit and let's all Instagram about shit instead of living our lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, okay, That's my life now. The onset. Yeah. Just get yeah. a fucking green screen and there you are. Whisk away. Yeah. Into wonderment and like some whisk other away? land. Whisk away, baby. <laughs> just whisk away. <laughs> whisk, whisk, but whisk, if whisk, I were, whisk, whisk. if I were to travel forward in time, I think I would go like hundreds of years into the future not just like three months to play spider-man like i would go hundreds of years into the future because like you you could probably you would you would be like a delicacy right like like Mm. i remember what it was like in 2000 i mean rj wouldn't because he's got the fucking memory of a goldfish but like (laughs) you know like but you could like in it, it honestly like if you were to go 300 years in the future you could recall certain events like almost like firsthand. I, Maybe you could be like a historian in the future or no, something. If you're, but it, on that it'd just note, be interesting. If you're going into the future, you mm-hmm. have to bring artifacts with you totally. from you the would. past to sell, so you can make that sweet future money. Ooh, Ooh. baby, that's how you do it. That's how you got to bring like a it. fucking color Game Boy. Yep. You know, something yeah, that works would. still. A game mm-hmm. Gear. But or that does like, it's like only exists in the Smithsonian. Yeah, four hundred yeah. years from now, like a yeah, fucking yeah. like like a scramble, a, an egg scramble, etch a sketch. Like, yeah, oh yeah, 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 you know, totally. Any like totally. just something crazy like that, and then you sell crazy. it. And, as long as it's just in a good condition, like I'm exactly. blown away when I look at like toy go. prices and stuff from the 1980s. Yeah. Just if you have like a a Bebop and Rocksteady yeah. and like mint packaging from the original Ninja Turtles run, mm-hmm. it's like fuck. Yeah, guy had those. Or coins. But you could also just if go you get right some now and, and buy some fucking like Pokemon toys, yeah, still yeah. in its original packaging. Yeah. Bring it 150 years in the future and be like, "Hey, You're look done. what I found under this board in my home." Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> receipts still th- on it. I don't think I would use toys or Pokemon because I bet you that stuff. It's eventually it's gonna lose some appeal. Ooh, yeah, hundreds yeah, of years. Gotta... Coins. Coins. coins coins or no, paint. I think people are dead. always going to be they're going to be so antiquated coins. by the time 250 years like it's all going to be same just deal. digital if you brought currency. coins with you yeah. and it's all just paypal in the future they'd be like wow this is cool as if they got to be gold you just bring gold with you yeah ancient gold, gold. Be yeah or barrels of oil can you just bring <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 50 gallon drums of oil with you to the future air. yeah yeah you guys still yeah, use this exactly. in the future? Get some fresh air did, in those, jar. Uh, did the Paris Accords not catch on? Because I got a big old vat of oil. <laughs> yeah, sell. broccoli. Just bring some broccoli with you. I bet you yeah. like 400 yeah. years from now, like, I have no idea. Or just like take a guess <laughs> and be like, I'm bringing fucking turtles with me. And then you get there and there's like turtles, turtles are extinct. Just, oh, I think you meant like the candy. Oh, <laughs> bring candy them all. Really Anything turtle related. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything turtle related at all I remember, that's how you gotta like, do it uh, or, this was like or bring over, autographed. over 10 years ago a long time ago um, my girlfriend at the time her friends were having some like potluck party like everyone mm-hmm. bring food and I'm like okay I'll just go to Taco Bell and buy a whole bunch of burritos it'll be sick and she was really? like yeah. please do not do that and I was like what are you talking about it's gonna be a good time <laughs> And she's like, no, bucks. don't do that. Yeah. That's embarrassing. I'm like, everyone loves Taco Bell. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and I showed up to this party with like a bag of 20 burritos. And yeah, it cost like $14. <laughs> like they go for less than a dollar. And yeah. it was the hit of the party. Because everyone course. like is in university, doesn't know how to fucking cook. So they all brought shitty macaroni dish and a salad. Like no one yeah. brought like ribs or a KFC meal yeah everyone just yeah. no everyone just like wanted to make something but none of them actually know how to cook so they all just brought mm. side dishes totally. and everybody so wants to be a chef but every, nobody is a chef yeah everyone just brings like salad and like oh and i brought Thanks some chips and some nachos <laughs> and i hope someone brought some guacamole but i don't know how to make that 
So like I showed yeah. up with a bag of like twenty burritos and was yeah the hit turned of into the an party. orgy. It was a big party and I was the hero. Huge orgy. And it was like yeah, of course. You know of that's just, you if you first, showed up to the first future run on everybody with a bag yeah. of Taco Bell. Where's the wormhole back to that moment? Am I right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Imagine going back to that. I'd rip up that tape, <laughs> fucking space time fabric for some of that. <laughs> yeah. That we just moment. relive that. Yeah. Let's talk about fucking so going back in time. Like, did you guys read into any of that shit of like the proposed, I like how the, how it would work? Like, this kid, kid, like no, I didn't actually. I'm interested in that. There was like I three at... different types that I saw that seemed yeah. interesting. Where it was like, you can go back in time, and regard like you can go back to time to the Titanic. And mm-hmm. tell the captain, motherfucker, you're gonna crash. You can and do everything in your power to stop it, but yeah. like, kind of like how life always finds a way. Like final destination it's gonna, rules. It's mm-hmm. gonna happen. Like you mm-hmm. can't fucking change it. The <coughs> Titanic is gonna sink at three in the morning on mm. April twelfth, I think April twentieth or something stupid, nineteen twelve. Right? Like that's gonna yeah, yeah. happen. No matter what you do, you can't change that. Like, See, I heard something in regards to that, and that was basically like, it was kind of a contradiction or, or, or counter to the grandfather paradox, where like, it would branch off into its own timeline. So you yeah. wouldn't actually affect the original timeline, but now you exist on yeah. this other timeline until you decide you don't, if you can go back to the other one through time travel. Yeah. But it's like, basically it would just fork... Like, think of it as a river. The river would fork, and you would just exist yeah. on a parallel. You know, now, with tributary. that said, though, now this is like this is kind of like I don't want to ruin this movie that I watched the other night that was super fuck called. I believe it's called Predestination with Ethan Hawke. And like, if you guys want to, like, honestly, it was it. it was fucking weird. Definitely, but basically, it. kind I of love my hawk. like what you're talking about. This is the same paradox then that would create where you yourself would have to constantly go back to that moment and change that moment in history because like you're saying now there's a timeline where that that captain got interfered with by a random person that now that you know what i mean so now when it's just like that weird loop of like so when you're born now that's your predestiny is that like you have to go back in time and tell the captain mm-hmm. of the Titanic not to so crash. It constantly so it can reoccur. create this. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it was super fucking weird. Like it's like a windmill that is constantly going. Like and, Groundhog Day. Exactly like Groundhog like, Day. Time but, travel. And a lot of the time travel stuff I talked about was it being like a loop. And like RJ. Wait, you were so is saying, Groundhog Day. So is Groundhog Day a time travel movie? Did we yeah. just blow yes. that up because it, it is? Yeah. keeps yeah. repeating it until he learns the lesson and gets out of the loop out of the loop mm. you gotta close that loop you gotta kill yourself yeah you had to mm. find you know, it figuratively <laughs> yeah you but could yeah there is yeah you when you create this new loop or you create that new like the string theory like i, I believe in string theory you know i think there is a universe out there somewhere mike where you're a funny attractive man <laughs> 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 yeah, it's possible. There, eh? it's possible. Yeah. yeah, one in twenty million. There's got to be one. There's you know? got to be. You're right. There's got to be. Right. See, that's like, why I, I feel like time travel is possible <laughs> with the alternating universes, like and just yeah. the misconception that all these alternating universes are synced time wise. Yes. Like I think yeah, it would be possible to travel through time because in an alternate universe they're four hundred billion years behind. So you could go to see yeah. dinosaurs if you just like yeah. can flick okay. over, you know, yeah. whatever barrier you're that is. You're not going. You're not going back. You're, you're going, going sideways across yeah. different. And they're, they're just oh, at okay. different, you know, start points or. Yeah. So you could go but now see Kennedy like, get shot. Figure that out. Yeah, you could go see yeah. Kennedy get shot because that's happening right now, in Earth Seven. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of just have you to could. want to believe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you know. But like, that's more plausible to me than some ability to go faster than time, and then the ability to like cherry really? pick. Really, that's where... more plausible. To me, that's more possible <laughs> because I do kind of yeah. feel like the Earth is or universe is infinite, and there's just 
mm-hmm. limitless possibilities. Like to say that, uh, yeah, like, totally. I don't know how big it is, but to just be such a dumb ape to have a, uh, no, it's only this. Like, that's just so ignorant. Like it has to be everything possible. Yeah. yeah. So for Bring me to think that possible. like, yeah, you could somehow jump the tracks and go to this alternate timeline that this is happening right now that mm. seems more possible to me than the timeline we're on now you've created enough energy and power to make some type of a uh, tunnel backwards and you can pick when you come out like that just seems like okay so the past is just constantly repeating behind us like that doesn't make any sense I feel no, but... like that that is easier for me to grasp. Okay. If you can move faster or as fast as the, if you can move close to as fast as the speed of light, you will go forward in time without aging to the same extent, right? Like yeah. you would if going you were forward. just an observer of that. So going forward, like, as far as going like, time as far travel... as going backwards, like that's I want you to like you said you had three things you want to talk about. You talked about one, so I'd like to hear more about that because i don't understand the going backwards in time and uh, only thing i really like there's moments that people claim that they have that i found interesting but like i don't know like the science or theories behind well the other one of the other theories is that you can go back in time and change time but if you change time you can shift time but if you shift it too much it's like an elastic band that it can snap and if it snaps, then everything is gone forever. Hmm. So, I, again, back to the whole, like, I don't think you're changing the fact that the Titanic is going to sink. But maybe yeah. you can bring a couple extra life jackets oh, and okay, gotcha. save a couple people, gotcha. right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that, like, we one, talk, one, I, sorry, I mentioned one, that. One example that I was given was it's like, again, like, you know, 9 11 is going to happen. But with your machine that can go back and forth through time, you could essentially go back, save the people on the plane, mm-hmm. and bring them to a different time period and let them live out their lives. Mm-hmm. Because you're not changing the fact that the plane has hit. Everybody thinks that these people are dead. But, you know, you're not changing the actual event. You're just changing some of the circumstances around it. Oh, okay. Well, now, like, these... like, the, like, we all, everyone should, in some way, know about that, the grandfather paradox, right? And I found some, like, interesting stuff about that, and that's Tell us what the grandfather paradox grandfather is. Grandfather paradox is, in a nutshell, if I'm you could... my own grandpa. <laughs> yeah, you could, potentially. <laughs> well, I think that might be part of it, but, um, less gotta jump fucking... jump in the loop, baby. Yeah, less incest version is, <laughs> you could go back in time... Um, if you went back in time, you could kill your grandfather. Therefore, yeah. one of your parents isn't born. Therefore, you're not born. Therefore, you don't exist to go back in time. Now, the extension of that is, if you don't exist, then you can't kill your grandfather. Yep. Uh, so, there's a loop. There's a weird loop where, like, if you were to go back in time, kill your grandfather, no dad. Now, you don't exist. You wouldn't exist to go back in time, but you also wouldn't exist to kill your grandfather, so he would still exist. Yeah. So like you're just this standing weird... there stabbing your grandfather in the chest. Like, why won't you just die? Constantly, and he's like, constantly. I don't know you. Like, what's <laughs> yeah. going on? Like, yeah, exactly. Fuck. You just give up. <laughs> condoms. Yeah, that, what are condoms? That makes, yeah, condoms. Just fucking, you know. So, like, I just thought that I thought that was an interesting like, spin on the grandfather theory. But like, like it's been quoted in Terminator. It's been quoted in Back to the Future. Like, that's basically Terminator. Not the grandfather thing, but he goes back in time to fucking kill Definitely so-and-so Back and, to the yeah. Future is that. Back to the Future. I yeah. feel like the more Terminator sequels there were, the more... Or the less, less interesting that story was. Like, I yeah. was so yeah. into Terminator 1. And Cars. then when Terminator Cars. 2 came out, it was like, Yes! Mm-hmm. And then, like, we're up to, like, five Maybe now, and it's like, this makes no sense. Yeah, I haven't been Like, they should just now, send the... 15 T-1000s all at the same time, and you're yeah. done. Like, send those now, I think... 15 T-1000s I... 20 minutes before Arnold finds John Carno in Terminator 2, and this time loop is, like, nipped. We're done. 
I mm. think though that movie, that series, even just thinking of this right now as you're saying it, the reason why I think it did make sense, again, it's like the whole, you can't change the past. You can't send a Terminator back to kill John Connor mm. because John Connor has to be alive for the uh, yeah. resistance. Just as you can't send a Terminator back to stop hmm. Skynet from activating because right. Skynet has to activate for it to happen. That whole hmm. movie was always about prolonging the judgment day to give right. humans yeah. the advantage, right? But hmm. And that's what I but, meant. Like yeah, The further like, the series went, the further away from that it was. Like, I'm with you. Terminator yeah. 3, they just moved judgment day five years or whatever it was yeah. i didn't hate that movie but it was then a the shitty one movie, with, but uh, whatever the, the last itself, one was yeah. where they went back to the first one and they did all the oh, cgi Genesis? yeah it's yeah, like okay what it. yeah like that's when they lost yeah, me it's like okay so i'm yeah. with you like yeah that's what the first ones yeah. were about you could not change judgment day you could just delay it but now in Terminator hmm. Genesis, they're actually going back to the first one and recreating the scenes with bill paxton and you know, hmm. young Arnold Khaleesi. interacting with old Arnold. It's like, what is going on? Yeah. So in that in that light, and in the light of what Rue was saying there about, uh, you know, like you can change circumstances, but you can't change any of these significant events. Like, is that where the Mandela effect comes in? You know, because that is kind of tied into time travel in a weird way, right? Can or, we, can or I just throw dimensions. this? Can I just throw this out here for the long time listeners? This okay. fucking Mandala effect conversation <laughs> essentially is what started this whole podcast it, not it more is, than two yeah. months ago where yeah, yeah. I can't remember if it was myself <laughs> or one of us posed the question to the other about have you yeah. heard about the Mandala effect and what it is. And so mm. I, this definitely ties into the whole time travel. <laughs> We've that, had this like, conversation it, yeah, multiple that times. It's that, <laughs> yeah. you know what? Like It's not like this Bernstein Bears book sucked and I want to yeah. abolish it from the record books but you know what I will do I'll change the spelling and fuck you all you know or what I mean or maybe like, like that's not like something that was like conscious maybe because there was some effect further down the line based on like you know someone too. going back in time that it just happened to change that insignificant yeah. things right for Very sure insignificant things Did but like the Mandela have... effect itself is like people remember him dying in the 90s I don't remember like that. Nelson Mandela. That's how this whole Mandela the effect 80s, and all the Berenstein Bears. Oh. No, it's like before he went to prison in the nineties, or maybe it was the eighties. Whatever. The 80s. He like got they, out in the nineties and became yeah. president. Okay, well, they you remember. Him. Yeah. They remember him. Like there's people that exist still to say that swear they remember him dying. They remember the funeral. They remember it being broadcasted, and then flash forward two thousand and four or th- three or whatever it was when he actually died and people are like wait a second he's still alive yeah what the fuck <laughs> what and, and like that's where like that started the whole like trend of people like looking at uh, it's a lot of uh promotional stuff you know like jc penny mm-hmm. or like uh i don't know jiffy uh fucking peanut butter or whatever like there's all these like discrepancies between what people remember and what, what it actually, actually is, is. Yeah. yeah, and that Mandela effect started like the trend of people like be- that trend. I think people, people just like, don't the pay attention. This? Is the main yeah. thing. This is true. So many of them are just logo logos, yeah. and people are like I don't remember J C Penney spelled that way, but yeah, that's yeah. the same way that I you could spell J C Penney with three N's, and no one notices because it's like a scripted logo, and you just yeah, know the name, yeah. and you say J C Penney, J C Penney. And then someone presents yeah. it like, do you remember the logo spelt like this? And you're like, no. Like, if I have to sit <laughs> yeah. here and sound it out, like, it's like, what? Yeah. Yeah, so I remember the Forrest Gump like, thing. And... Bullshit. Like, people I remember not being like attention. 20, I remember being like 23 years old and finally realizing that the, you know, Disney, yeah. you know, the, yeah. like that, you know, the fancy writing Disney. The G. For and... some reason. I thought it was a G yeah, for yeah. my fucking first like twenty three years of my life, and I can so still remember. Disney, <laughs> Disney. I just Gizney? I just thought it was a G, and everybody said it Disney, like it was like Middle Eastern yeah, yeah. or something. 
and wow. just yeah, you I, have I admitted like that. that moment of just like, oh my god, it's a D, and it's always been a D and not a backwards yeah. G. I have well, that, like in that's that line, Mandela, since we're that's just since we're sharing, being like stupid, yeah, yeah, right? being I an idiot. That. Since we're since we're sharing our I idiotic moments, like I, I fucking hate to admit this, but like some point in my early twenties. I, I, and because I didn't go to science class at all, like my entire didn't life. I hated science. Didn't go to high school. I didn't, but I, but I barely went to any class, but especially science. Like, yeah. I put my foot down, grade nine, I'm never doing science again. Would have helped for this fucking podcast. <laughs> it probably would have helped. <laughs> but, like, I didn't realize to up to a certain point, I, I found out that your body makes blood, right? Like, it, it produces blood. Right. And okay, it yeah. produces all, like, all your cells and all that crap. Like, it reproduces. So I just thought that you had a certain amount of blood in your body, and I could not wrap my head around why people donate it. Like, I was just like, why are people giving this blood away? Idiots. They're just going to need it. Just to live. Need it. So I hate to admit that, but that was, like, in my early 20s, that I was just like, oh, wait, the body oh. produces blood? Oh, it's like oh, trees. oh. and then just, hours. like, pretended like I knew for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, oh, life, yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta yeah. pretend like you knew the whole time. Yeah, I mean it's no Disney, but it's yeah. It's well, it's still thing. pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> RJ, my uh, confess, my confession goes back to pro wrestling, my favorite thing in the whole world. I think I was yeah. like 25 years old when I learned that Roddy Piper's name is Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah, I oh, always yeah. thought it was. Roddy, Roddy, Piper. Roddy, Roddy. Like they just said his name Roddy, twice. Roddy? <laughs> yeah. I legit always yeah. just thought it was Roddy, Roddy Piper. Like they just said his name two times. Because yeah. his oh, T-shirt yeah. always said Hot Rod. Like nowhere did I ever see the words Rowdy. Rowdy. Yeah. And I just yeah. always thought it's Roddy, Roddy Piper. Like they just say his name twice. <laughs> it's wrestling. Like I don't know, but that's what they do. That's it's fine. Roddy, I, Roddy. I, same thing. Or it's like when you hear people say words and you don't know what they said, but you can, you just like, or when you listen to music and you hear oh, yeah, lyrics yeah. The, and you don't know what they say, but you just kind of do the, the they did the, oh, okay, that's what it is, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And you just, <laughs> yeah. you nail it every time, but it's like, that's not English. Yeah, that's, that's not, not even words. You're just hitting pitches. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know? It's a great but you song. you nailed though. it. But I fucking yeah. nailed it. Yeah, great song. You fucking nailed it. Like to hit the high note. I remember clearly though, as a child, being read a Bernstein Bernstein Bears book. Whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and like, you know, we're in bed with mom, and like on each side of her, and she's reading it, and she said, "This is a Bernstein Bears," and I remember looking at it and being like, "I'm a fucking terrible reader," but that does not say Bernstein. That says stain. But mm. mom said it, yeah, so we're God, going with not. it. Like, I remember yeah. clearly thinking, like, looking at that and, like, <laughs> A-I-N is not Steen. Like, I remember that clear thought. And then, like, she said it, though, so we're going with it. But so And I've looked into a lot of, Burns, like, Bernstein Bear Mandela bullshit. Like, apparently there was, like, mm. a famous Stan at the time, like a Burn Stan or something in the 1980s. That people just hmm. kind of said that name. Like, that's just kind of like hmm. exactly like the Jiffy Lube or whatever. And people see it and yeah. they don't actually read it because, like, 90% of the word is the same way. So they just, the like, because, like, yeah, like, people don't actually read. They just recognize the word as a symbol. Like, the same way yeah, you can, like, you can change all the letters within a word yeah. as long as the first mm-hmm. and last letters are the same. Like, you can easily yeah. read English all jumbled because you just look at That's the word as like goes. a symbol. Like you're not actually <laughs> sounding anything out. Mm-hmm. So it's my understanding yeah. is like there was some famous, maybe it was like a singer or a, a sports person named Steen at the time. So people seen Bernstein and just yeah, said, wasn't he in the police? I don't know. <laughs> No, it was like Bernstein. Steen. Something. <laughs> there's some famous Bernstein at the time. I love Steen. So He's Bern my favorite. Steen. He used to go by Bern Bernstein, but he just yeah. changed it to Steen. When Bernstein yeah. Bears, he was Steen. In that. Bernstein Bears, Bears, Bears came out. Yeah, Everyone just know. said Bernstein because there was like a more famous Bernstein. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And it Singer just songwriter. Got stuck. Singer songwriter. Revolutionary. <laughs> Helped get Timmy O'Toole out of the well, pretty sure. Yeah, he did. He totally yeah, he did. did. Yeah. He's a good digger, oh, Mark. He's do this right away. I said Wednesday. He said Wednesday if tw- was no if, good. If 20 years from now, that guy's name, because of the Mandela effect, is Steen. <laughs> Then we're fucking. We're, we're, yeah, we'll we just give it some time. We might be onto something. We yeah, we might but like, isn't something. there like just like dumb stories about like the hydron collider where it was like a moth got in it, and that's why Trump is fucking president now? Like, <laughs> you know, know, like just weird. Maybe. Like that hydron collider is gonna be the end of the world. I think. Mm-hmm. A lot I of the it. like just... Mandela like theories go back to. Oh, all this stuff started oh, in the mid two thousands when they started experimenting with the hydron collider, and it like divided yeah, the yeah. timeline. Yeah, probably just yeah, smashing atoms together mm-hmm. underground. That's yeah. so fucked. Like, like the god thing... particle. It's the it's the god particle, yeah, right? Yeah. Like I think we talked about it before. One of them is, and I think the god particle um, is be- just back to like dark matter. Like again, dude, the whole like they sh- thing that it's holds funny they the showed god, like everything together. They showed, like, the microscopic version of the God Particle. Like, this is, like, when I was looking at it months and months and months ago for whatever reason. It's a fucking pentagram. Yeah. Like, it's the, in the shape of a pentagram. Nice. Like, undeniably a pentagram. There's wow. some weird stuff. Cool. Pretty world. wild. Have you also yeah. seen the, like, yeah. top of Saturn has, like, a pentagram or some bullshit shit yeah it's fucking crazy really? it's a storm isn't it yeah but it's like in a perfect like geometric yeah, pattern really. like at the north but that's just pole because wow that's just all has to do with the cold and the pressure yeah, i'm sure there's Saturn, science right? behind like, it but when you take that photo out of yeah. context and throw that on some youtube conspiracy yeah. I don't it's know i saw someone that right? was like, like equating the is like it Saturn or Jupiter I think it's it might be Jupiter. Could be Saturn. I think might it's be, Jupiter. I because, like, right. it's one Jupiter of those two has stormy like, ones. I'm saying Pluto. It's Pluto. Jupiter Pluto's has, like, lakes of <laughs> methane, right? Yeah. Where, like, methane on our planet under the temperature and pressure is a gas. But there, it's just, like, oceans of methane mm. exist, right? And hmm. there's a fucking hurricane the size of planet Earth just fucking whirling around. Like, Carolina thinks they got it bad. Carolina. <laughs> They don't. It's like category they just got one. hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't have it good. You can't. They don't have it good. No, but no, it's not the best it's ever been or anything. But, it's not uh, Puerto Rico though. No. Puerto Rico's still no. fucked from last year's storms. That's what I'm saying, yeah, and yeah. people don't admit no that. Like cares. people died. Yeah. yeah. No one cares about Puerto Rico. It's fucking weird. If I could go back in time, I'd change that. Should we that get to? Big uh, more people it. would care about Puerto Rico. That yeah. brings me to my <laughs> ask an expert question. Maybe I'm jumping the gun, but if you I think could you go are. back, you're and... jumping the gun. Let's we're going Little into. Ju- it. I think uh, I, I think it's a bit of a jump. I think it's. Fine, I think okay, are, are we done it, talking about it, time no, travel? We're not done. I didn't we're think there was a lot it. to talk about, but okay. Well, like the the one most interesting thing that came out of all this, and it's kind of hoaxy to me. Like the most interesting thing is this fucking thing that apparently the Vatican has. That's called the Chrono Visor. Okay. okay. And it's like this fucking machine that was made in the 50s, I guess with some potentially extraterrestrial help or knowledge, that allows, like it was gifted from the U.S. to the Vatican. Vatican destroyed it in the 50s because it was, I guess, too powerful or because it was complete bullshit, one or the other. But it allowed them to look into the past and possibly the future, but definitely the past. And they can take, like, <coughs> still images of things in the past. Like, they went back and fucking had a look, had a quick little pervy look at the crucifixion. Fucking ha- took a look at the Last yeah, Supper. You know, looked up some fucking skirts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they, they went back and apparently... Well, have... was the Vatican? They weren't looking yeah. at skirts. <laughs> That's right. Man's <laughs> gowns. Yeah. Sorry. Grabbing little boy dick. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. it is. Yeah, they're getting under the table with that chrono vision. Jesus for sure. on the cross up skirts. Yeah. Oh, for sure they were. But like I thought that was like so super holy. like that was super interesting because there's like this I don't know, Italian guy like to his like to his death in like the nineties was like, Yes, like I was part of that. I was the guy, you know? And it all started they were trying to 
take like old audio recordings and putting up put it on like magnetic reel which was like the new mm. fucking thing and the guy heard one of the guys whoever was working on it heard a voice of his father but it was like his father yelling at some dude about how expensive something shoe related was it had nothing to do with what was on the tape it wasn't like music or audio of a sermon or whatever it was like just happened to be his father yelling at some other dude in a shop somewhere and they think that like somehow they is that how you take mach- it Giorgio? <laughs> yeah with this machine they somehow <laughs> tapped into up. something and then from there I guess they developed the technology to actually look back in the past wow. and photograph mm-hmm. it and, and, and see live video of it and stuff so like they say that like it was basically like I guess information exists in waves Right. Of whatever, like radio waves would, right? So like it's somewhere in some wave form. There's, there's information that still exists. Like there's an imprint. Yeah. yeah. So they could tap into that and and see odd or see like, you know, video or or pictures or whatever. Of now these this may events. have been off fucking <coughs> podcast that we were kind of just talking earlier <coughs> about the holograph life that we. Is potential is possible matrix style. Yep. Mm-hmm. In that there is a Off theory out there theory. that our existence is a two D dim- existence, and that we are just holograms. Hmm. Have you heard about this? I don't fully understand is it, that but the basically, same as we were talking earlier with the simulation matrix theory. I don't think it. I don't okay. know if it is because the the example I was given is that like it was really stupid. But here it goes: if a telephone got close to a black hole and got sucked into said black hole, mm. that it the particles of the telephone would completely separate and engulf. The entire... Oh, I got a knock on the door. One sec. The Holy entire back. fucking okay. black hole, right? And that... It it would be one of those, like, it doesn't exist, but at the same time, it exists everywhere. And that at any time, you could, like... If you could pull those particles out, you could create that same telephone kind of deal. Yeah. If you could like it's theoretically reassemble. Yes. Yeah. That it's like it never it doesn't actually disintegrate and it is gone. It's always there. Yeah. And that I don't know, I didn't fully understand the two D holograph life that was explained, but I think you guys were kinda of touching on it with Elon about how he doesn't think that we're real. No, he's uh, he's believing the simulation theory. Which is basically the Matrix, or I feel like there's a Bruce Willis movie where this happens, where there's a dystopian future, maybe a thousand or two thousand years from now, that's so unlivable that people just have tapped into this avatar life and they're living lives back in 2018. Okay, yeah. And that's, I don't know what you're talking about. I, yeah, it's not 12 Monkeys, but yes. No, I, I there's a different Bruce Willis movie. I can't think of what it is. Yeah. But that's kind of like the idea that Elon Musk's you know, theory is that evolution and technology advancement has got us this far that it's completely plausible that we ruin the Earth, but are able to download your consciousness into a hard drive. And if that's possible, then it's likely yeah. already happened. And this is like a recreation of the like golden years before everything hit the fan. And okay. everyone is kind of just like a Facebook version of themselves. Like just your consciousness is a real thing but you live hundreds of years in the future and you're just blissfully, you know, going through the simulated world using your thoughts and decisions based on yourself from the future. 
unaware. But why? Exactly like the Matrix. Exactly like the Matrix, though. Like the world is just They're unlivable. Just it might not even be a, a sinister thing. It might just be the world is unlivable. So let's just, you know, plug ourselves in and this life yeah. is better than, you know, fighting for scraps and, you know, melting under the sun because there's no atmosphere. So we're just all in bunkers. Yeah, it's easier for us to be plugged into something. Yeah, Ugh. it's a really depressing idea. But, you know, sure. his idea or his theory was like that technology is not possible now, but based on today's technology, that is possible. So if that is possible, then it's entirely possible that's already happened and we're just experiencing, you know, experiencing it, now. it now. Living it out. Exactly like the Matrix. Like everything that's in history that we think is like, oh, that happened is just written down and put into the program. And that's why you get deja vu sometimes. And that why even Mandela effects, some things don't add up and that could just be glitches. Mm. Yeah, super, yeah okay. super interesting. Yeah. yeah, weird alien phenomena. Whatever. But as much as like that sounds crazy, like... Is it more crazy than any other religion? No. No, oh, God, no. That's the craziest shit. Now, what about the, like, what do you guys think about <sighs> extraterrestrials that human beings have encountered? Do you think that there's a possibility that maybe those are uh, time, travel. time travelers? I've always and kind it's of like thought the, that, yeah. The quiet observer, where it's like, they're not interacting with us that because they are just watching from afar like maybe the planet mm -hmm. is just that much different like think of us going back to Pangea right like that would be that would be a, a cool enough to go back in time and see your earth as just one giant continent where maybe they're yeah. coming back to see our earth as like oh my god look at like America like look at it look at all the lights and look how cool it is like I remember when you know lights for a thing yeah i've actually had that theory like independent than that coming up in like whatever you saw that on youtube like i've always kind of thought that since the 90s and seeing like the gray aliens i'm thinking like what if these like little people are just like the super evolved versions of humans they're like really skinny they have no use for like physical you know power mm -hmm. anymore their brain is bigger than their fucking torso a computer yeah whatever, there's no race know. there's nothing there's just, yeah they're just gray race bad cool religion gray or beige bad religion style mm -hmm. just a gray race yeah and thinking of like okay when you know you'd see those ufo videos they're like zipping around and like what are they doing and it's like that's exactly what you would do if you traveled back in time it's like oh shit we're here Let's try and go really quick and then stop and then go back. Like it's like a airplane test almost. And it's like, okay, yeah. we did our configuration, like back to the future. And then that kind or like of a, yeah. also explains that like we were talking about in Bigfoot last week, like how come there's no new footage or anything? Like it yeah. could be from like 1940 to 1970. There was a bunch of like people that went back and zipped around and then mm -hmm. philosophies evolved to like, hey, let's stop going back and fucking with things. Like we went back, <laughs> we took our footage, we proved the technology exists. And now it's like that Jean-Claude Van Damme time cop style. Like there's all these regulations. Oh. Like you can't just go back in time and fuck around and yeah. kidnap no, people. If, and like, if it does exist in the future... Out. If it does exist in the future, like there's definitely going to be some standards there has and to be. regulations. But at first, there won't be any. It's going to. It's at not going to be it's like a wild a... west until mm, you know when the internet but it's comes only out. It's be... crazy, and then everyone's like, "Okay, yeah. still okay. The, we're still in the wild west phase of the internet." Oh yeah, just definitely. yeah, put that true. in perspective, right? But I don't think time travel is going to be like something you could just go down to like like let's say an arcade mm. used to be you can't just go and jump in a time travel machine no. and zip back like no, for no. leisure it's going to be used by governments and government yeah. bodies and might become like a p 
public leisure thing could be hundreds or thousands of years. I in did. The future. I don't think it will. I think it'll no. be like a nuclear bomb. Yeah, like, I don't think I don't think it'll threat, be something that you know? anyone can do. We'll go back. No, in it'll time be and like we here. discovered it, and we're gonna do it twice to Japan, <laughs> and then we're gonna, <laughs> then we're just gonna go about. No one else is ever yeah, gonna, gonna use it. it. There's gonna be a war where we're both gonna whip our dicks out with another country and be like, we're gonna go back and fuck you. We're gonna go back and fuck yeah. you. And then they're just not yeah. gonna go back and fuck you. Also, like the moon landing, like they're just exactly, gonna destroy yeah. the technology. Yeah, history likes to repeat itself. Hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, uh, that's that's a time loop that we're stuck in the dick measuring time loop. <laughs> it's for sure it is. That's yeah. the that's the name yeah. of this. Uh, time I loop. actually yeah. in all of this, I'm the, here. This is a complete honesty. We watched Time Cop <laughs> once. I learned that we were doing <laughs> yeah. the and if I can quote one it's part of the movie, movie, absolute greatest <laughs> quote ever. Jean Claude Van Damme. Here it is. <laughs> 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 There's uh, not enough time in the world to make love to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Jean Claude! Do you think like you on dog. set he was like, "Do I really have to say this?" No, I think he ad libbed it. He ad libbed that. Oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he, didn't he even thought of a lot of cool on. time cop fucking His hair in that movie throat. with the mullet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, when he gross. does the splits on the on the, fucking on the cabinet, cabinet though, oh baby, <laughs> sold. Put me under that, yeah. you know. No, you got you got time to do that. You got time yeah. to fucking do splits on top of a cobbler, but not to make love to a woman. <laughs> not enough time in the world to make love to a woman. No, but I'll Amen, drop a brother. fucking split right on your. You thanks. Follow dinner. that up with his, the direct sequel of uh, "Bitches Don't Come." So. <laughs> Uh, anyway, should we ask an expert? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. We'll go back to my ask yeah, an expert because I jumped the gun yeah, let's do 20 it. minutes ago. Yeah, you jumped the gun, yeah. If you could go back in time, would you go back for the de- personal experience, like I was saying, like go back and just relive hmm. like a good year, like what's an age you'd go back to, or would you go back to like a historical event, and what would that be? I definitely would not go back to something in my life like that's like my life hasn't been it's been great it's been fun I've you know had a good time so far but like there's so much shit outside of my life Mm. that I like to experience if I could I would do what Biff did in Back to the Future and go back not even to a set amount of time just go back with my fucking almanac and rake it in dude like yeah I would probably go back and like I would like to be Put if it you, all on okay. Black. So hold on, hold on. Now, if you go back, do you are you the age that you are when you go back? Yeah. Like, or is it like I'm gonna go back and be 15 years old? I think you go no, back like, as like if I wanted to go back right now, I'd go back as a 33 year old. With so I'd go back. Year. I'd go back to the 70s, like early 70s, because shit was still like the Wild West was mm. still the Wild West. Like, mm. like there was you know the fucking there were. There was just so much shit going on, mm. and nothing had really happened yet, other than the moon landing, you know. Yeah. And, and like, you could get I feel away like with murder. You get away with murder, and I feel like you could make a fortune. <laughs> not like, not that money yeah. is everything, but like to set yourself up for the next couple decades. Like, yeah. I'd go back to the seventies, cash in, get some super greasy apple stuff, and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, I like, IBM, you know, Apple. Like, if yeah. it was Amazon. me, I would go back. I would go back, and I would rob. A lot of banks. I you think. just watched Time Cop. No, I know, but I would totally <laughs> go back bank. and rob. Like it would be a lot of bouncing back and forth. I would be taking <laughs> money from the past, investing it in the future, taking my future earnings, going back and putting it all on fucking like, like Mike Black. said, almanac style. <laughs> like put it all on Holyfield yeah. against Tyson, all that totally. dumb shit. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I so would, both like, of you were sure. just in the camp of selfishly trying to improve Making your money. future self. Well, you like, don't I mean, it would also be selfish. It would also be selfish to waste anything. the time to go back to relive a moment that you've already lived. And it's I like, like no. fuck that. I want a new I'm life. I'm not going, I'm going back, back to the day I brought a bunch of tacos to a pot. No, definitely <laughs> you not. Know? Like, like, are you going to go No, I'm going like, to go start a new life. I'm going to make some money. And why? And if you're going to go back, if you're going to go back, are you just going to be poor about it? No, you're going to fucking bring an almanac and make some money. 
two two you know? straight up things I would go back to. I would like to go back to the Big Bang if I could go back and watch. That's too the far. Creation you can't in go the universe, back to the beginning. I think that would be fucking <laughs> sick. That's something that you would never ever see again, and never be able to picture. And I would oh, go back yeah. and see dinosaurs, and dinosaurs make a lot of that cool. almanac money. Oh, almanac money for sure. Dinosaur bones. Dinosaurs and Big Bang are definitely on the list of things. Top two, I would go back and check out. This is a total sidebar. No, I would go back to the 70s, make a bunch of money, and buy every van that I could buy. Total. Yeah, see, that's stupid. I just hoard, you can't I just bring them back farm. to the future with you, Mike. I just, I just live in that time. No one's saying nope. you can't do that. Yeah. I just stay and have a brand new life. Yeah, you can bring your hat. I had a, What would you do, you. RJ? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I had this weird like existential, like soul-crushing moment of how inconsequential everyone's lives were thinking about time travel. right now of course because yeah. like back to that yeah. you what's know, the point of reliving it like, going to the bridge opening in you know vancouver and his t-shirt and yeah. the youtube video i watch is like this seems like a unimportant event but maybe in the future this bridge has like in a huge historical significance so someone wanted to go back to see the bridge being made and i'm oh, like yeah. whatever but then i'm like looking at something. the like other 80 people in the photo and thinking mm-hmm. about like all those people lived you know lives and nobody knows no who knows any of them are them. they came and went yep. and left no trace yeah and even That's as far as like baby. us being a civilization like yeah we have history that goes back but mm-hmm. it really doesn't go back more than a hundred years like there's footnotes past 1800 like there's no like yeah. all these people lived all these people did that this person made this song it's like none of that was did you not hear the like, good news no. there's like super Jesus christ historical. died for your sins that's all like years ago the most important people that's like the president's history is recorded after or before 1700 yeah, yeah. before that like nobody recorded anything like someone really, like no. had a flute and played the fucking sickest song, but nobody recorded <laughs> yeah. it or told anyone important, so it just like lost forever. But like starting yeah. in but the, but 1996 well, with not like now, internet, but... it's like but yeah, all like that Roger exists. the flautist, like he fucking no one knows him. Yeah, no one knows that guy. He wrote best you know, flautist. I in shot the sheriff times. first. He he started that song. Yeah, he do, yeah he do, probably do, did. Do, do. Yeah. But like I mean, like when did Christopher Columbus like, discover it, North it, America? It me, like that yeah, shit got written like down. Yeah, but he's like the president. I mean, like the only things that are recorded are the most important things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah socially. Right. Like yeah. there might yeah. be some document that tells you the other like eighty people on that boat, but Never maybe ever. we don't know who any of them are. I no, actually don't syphilis. fucking care at all. Nobody so, cares. Like, I'm not looking. But that you up. know, he didn't no. travel over here by himself. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I, I just mean, mean why... like compared to 1996 and going forward, everything is online. Every Fair photo enough, that yeah. has ever been taken is recorded forever. So yeah. where would you go? Where the... Well, that's, the that's question. what I was thinking. Like at first, like I think, like oh yeah, maybe I want to see like some big historic event. But like honestly, like who cares? I'd probably go to. But like... if you're stuck there, okay. So imagine if you go if back, you, you have stuck, to stay there. You have to get where are you stayed? going now. I would probably, that's a good one. I think it's like where specifically as well as time-wise. Like there's mm-hmm. different decades. And for me, music has always been like really important. So mm-hmm. like maybe it's 70s, like man. 1970s in New York or 1970s come in London, me. England. Like yeah, come find something me, like, I wouldn't want to go 1970s in Nebraska. Fuck off. Like, like if you're not going to go back to yeah. when Hall and Oates started, there's no point in going back. <laughs> <laughs> but even Do you even 19... know when that is? That might have been the 70s. New York. 82... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I never. Yeah. Really I think that's Fuck silly. Because, like, I don't think that is as, like, I don't know. Okay, the music's interesting, but it's probably just a lot of dudes sitting around doing heroin. Like, this would be cool. Yeah, but when, it, when <laughs> I you think know, of, like, like great. The, you don't want to sit in on that. The 70s would be super cool. of my cool. life is, like, when I was late teenager early 20s and all i cared about was going to as many shows as possible and where we mm-hmm. are is like toronto ontario 
musically mm-hmm. insignificant and how fun that was. Like maybe yeah, once totally. a month going to like the best show ever and next month yeah. maybe we get to do that again. And in between that we'll go see some local bands but they don't really count. But like imagine living in a time when it's like CBGBs or Max's Kansas City and every weekend is mm-hmm. like, whoa. Like that would be pretty mm-hmm, great. Mm-hmm. I never really got into uh, grunge music, but even like being in Seattle in the 1990s when it's like, this is popping off. What's well, popping off. That's pretty yeah. cool. If you were into that, like that's the time to go. I don't give a shit about Nirvana. But like, when I think about the past, like I feel like I would have the most too. fun starting in the seventies. Like the seventies yeah. was still wild, like you know, shit. Like yeah, there was people getting murdered all the time, but you, you get away with murder. Yeah, like for lack of a better term, not being idiot. So like, yeah, but like you, like the it was like the world was at your fingertips, and you could really make something of yourself. Mm. I'd say starting the seventies was like the first, from my perspective, it's like the jumping off point of like. Yeah, people can really do what they want. They don't have to worry about fucking, like... Well, some races and religions definitely did, but there was, like, you know, social constructs there. But for a white man, mm. me, to go back to the 70s with an almanac, I'm fucking ro- I'm rolling yeah, in it, but man. You're stuck. Now, luckily like, I, for us, we're white, and I guess you can go back to any time yeah, period and Pretty not much. That's something worth noting. Some sort that's of fire, worth noting, right? Yeah, Dude, that's something worth noting for sure, yeah. For sure. Right? How well, far would you go not, back if you're? Yeah, if you went back to Jesus' time, they'd be like, "You're going to burn in the sun." Well, even you know, geographically, you like if you went to like Italy, it's like, what is this white dude doing here? You know, in the 1500s, like it wasn't yeah, so. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't so like. Oh, you get murdered. Like, for sure. White people are like, what are yeah. you, some German, you know, or Nordic? Yeah. Like you're not just accepted Fair everywhere. Enough, yeah. You don't speak Italian. Mm-hmm. You can't just walk in yeah. and be like. Watch out! Dinosaurs watch aren't my... gonna care that I'm some white dude. Yeah, yeah. They're just gonna eat me. Oh, no, it's true. But there is a little bit yeah, more what? of a racial free ride. Yeah. Free where would you go, Rue? If you, if you, Rue, if you had to go back and stay there, where would you go? Forever. You and can't stay bring there? an almanac. If you went back. Like in this time. is almanac free. You just have to go and start. Almanac now. free. Yeah. Uh, you can't just go back and pretend like, oh yeah, I don't know who wins the World Series this year. I'm not gonna bet all my money on it. Oh, wait, you but can't if, bring the almanac? Yeah, let's just change it up. Like, it's not yeah, just about... Yeah, we're not going to almanac. It's not about still financial 70s, game. Man. 70s. It's about everything else. No financial. <sighs> uh, Wild I'd still West. go 70s. Wild West. I'd go to the West. Wyatt yeah. Earp. Wyatt Earp. Jesse James. I'd, I think that would be cool play. Like if, if I wasn't allowed to go <laughs> back and make 16. fucking money, I would want something completely different. I wouldn't just want, okay, like, gotcha. dudes wearing skinny jeans and no underwear in the 70s. Wow. <laughs> Just, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure cowboys wore skinny I want to be a cowboy. Don't want to get okay. gay in the woods. That's I can what I dig it. Do. I think that would be that'd be in my top three for sure. Like I, that's. You know? I mean, if, if we, I if can you roll can't some go, dice. if you can't go back and make money, and you're living in an era, the '60s obviously would be pretty fucking bitching. I think a lot yeah, of shit 60s, happened 70s. then. Yeah. Uh, the '40s would be cool with the whole war. I think. <laughs> Now maybe mm. being in said war would suck, but if I had After like a hard time to stay and home, staying home and just slay all the fucking war brides, I'd definitely stay there. <laughs> if you had uh, a murmur or yeah, bad a eyes. Little, little heart murmur. Ooh, I got a walk yeah. guy. I want to yeah. go, but I'm just Club out foot. of breath all the yeah. time. Uh, I got a little head; it doesn't work properly. I'm gonna stay home and diddle your wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna that. do this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> give her the shocker. It's just it's stuck. I can't. It's my trigger finger. <laughs> it's sticky. I got a sticky trigger finger. It moves fine. It's just sticky. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or the Wild West. Wild West. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I had to go back and just live my life, I'd go. I'd go Wild West. I'd stake a claim in some earth and. I think I'd go shit. slightly after the Wild West if I if as a number two. So like after World War One, Gold Rush of the twenties, it's still kind of wild. Mm-hmm. The calm yeah. West. All right, what's your question, Mike? Mm. Oh fuck! Well, we kind of actually just talked about it. Like it was my question was going to be if you chose to go back in time or if you chose to go forward in time. We talked about it before. Um, what would you bring with you if you could bring one thing? Mm. Fuck the almanac. 
you know, fuck or fuck money. That. But, like, I don't even know. Like, I... Because we talked about it earlier in the episode about going forward and bringing an artifact from the past. And we just talked about going back and bringing an almanac. So that's yeah. the question that I had. Like, if, if you were going to go <laughs> if you're back, going back you're bringing forward, the almanac. Yeah, what yeah. are you bringing? I guess yeah. you're bringing an almanac. Yeah. You're bringing an almanac, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's all I had. So we Would you went over bring that. something financial gain again? Or would it be like a personal, they probably won't have this in the future financial yeah game. like condoms yeah. no like, i mean just set yourself up if you got a chance to set yourself up for the rest of that life then fucking do it then do it you know yeah. it's as bring simple as buying a five dollar almanac yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. bring it buy a yeah. five dollar gold or any Pokemon kind of card. any yeah anything that would that documents like if you go to go back 30 years bring something that documents the last 30 years mm. so that like i don't know you you got you're that sil- psychic Sylvia Brown now. You're the world's most famous psychic because you can predict all this crap. Wow, well, there you go. I don't know if that's financially, uh, you know, com- I think set you up or anything. The but... moral of the story: time travel always wraps around financial gain. And yeah, financial gain no and else. setting almanacs and it's setting yourself always, up. It's always to bang, just about making bang money. people. Yeah. All right, so my question is like, my question is a two-parter. I like these Dude. are my favorite kind of questions. Um, n- let me see if I can word this properly. Uh, do you guys think that physicists refer to vaginas as wormholes, mm-hmm. and if they do, which one are they more likely to find first? Real wormholes or <laughs> or <wormholes>. vagina <laughs> or vagina. Uh, short answer: yes. Long answer: <laughs> like a legit wormhole. <laughs> like if that's how they no one's like an outer space wormhole. Them. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. one's gonna let them near their wormhole if that's what they're calling them. I think them. there's some like science. <laughs> they refer to it as a wormhole. That might be interesting. Yeah. In some science boyfriend. Ooh. Yeah, in that refers to her yeah. vagina. But that's, that's like a theory. rare breed. That's like a blonde Asian. Ooh, like it yeah. exists. One in a billion. They exist, yeah. but it's rare. Yes. It's rare. More rare yeah. than the albino. Yeah. Yeah. For I sure. wish there was a wormhole back to some wormhole, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah that all day it. wormhole. That. And there is. There is. Yeah. It's any time you go back in. It back into the future or whatever. Anytime you, you get the word, you think just because you're a future, if they like the accent. If you're not, yeah. Well, if you're not making money, you're going back to fuck, right? Like it's one or the other. Yeah, yeah. So, you're totally you know, right. Pick your poison or destroy the world. What you if you go get back some to wormhole on the way? <laughs> like, when did they start circumcising people? Because you, could, if you're circumcised. And like secret, I am. <laughs> Everybody is <laughs> normal people. If you are. go back to a time before circumcision, you got the rare dick, man. The yeah. golden. No, dick. you can't. No, Abraham was like the king of the Jews, and yeah, he, he cut off cursed. his own dick. Yeah, but those are just stories. <laughs> no. Yeah, but that's where it came from. It's they not real life. <laughs> the Jews were cutting the ends of their dicks off long before the rest of us. Okay, well, don't go to like a Jew dominant country. Israel. <laughs> Don't, I said, don't. <laughs> don't go there. Yeah, you're just yeah. one in the same. Yeah. Ooh, you're one of us. <laughs> yeah. Just swinging your cut dong around. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's the end of uh, <laughs> time travel. Is that the end of the episode? we exhausted. Yeah. 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 If, we yeah. if you're going to go back in time, it better yeah. be about Long money story or short, sex. you can't go back far enough to get away from male circumcision. <laughs> That <laughs> is the dawn of time. That's what the Big Bang yeah. was named after. Yeah. The Big yeah. Bang was just a baby screaming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If well, you don't know, now that. you know. Until uh, next week. <laughs> Until next time. We are pretty much <laughs> experts. Thank you, Frontline yeah. Fiesta. You guys rule. Woo. Add mm-hmm. us on Facebook. YouTube, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, all of those things. And we'll be back yeah, and stick uh, around. next week. Stick around and listen to and, this uh, banger. If you like if you like VHS uh, reviews, oh. 
Uh, RJ's what? got oh. uh, RJ's putting out some some reviews of old movies that are pretty decent. Mm-hmm. We're so filling up this check that out. Animated. Our YouTube page is popping animated. up. Re- yeah, animated. Yeah, animated some uh, YouTube stuff. Check those out. Yeah, it's killer. Yeah, killer ship. Cool. So until next time, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> That's it. That's wrap it, it up. <laughs> wrap it up. Thanks, Thanks everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. We are Pretty Much Experts. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. While you're at it, go have a look at our Facebook page. You can ask an expert any time of day or night, whatever you like. And if you're into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you, baby. Thanks again, everybody. Tune in next week. We are Pretty Much Experts, and we love you, I guess.